it's London, baby. I was lucky enough to spend a couple of days in London and naturally the first thing I did on the three hour Eurostar ride over was kill my phone. So I wasn't able to show off the sightseeing I did on day one. I visited all of the major landmarks, Paul's Cathedral, the Palace of Westminster, Tower Bridge, the London Bridge. The second thing I did was watch The Merchant of Venice at Trafalgar Theatre before tucking in for the night at my hostel. Today, I explored more of the city. I had to visit 221B Baker Street, if only because I was a super Hulot kid. Well, actually just a Hulot kid. <laughs> I also visited the British Museum, which I also did not film because my phone died again. And I was surprised and delighted to find that admission was free. It also got me thinking about how most museums aren't free and how messed up it is that for-profit museums essentially make people of various ethnicities pay for the right to view their own cultural heritage to the people who stole it in the first place. Just some food for thought. I was desperate to visit Kensington Gardens because it has so much historical significance. The gardens were originally part of Hyde Park, but were transformed into the personal gardens of Kensington Palace at the request of Queen Caroline in 1728. 
The novel Peter Pan was famously inspired by J.M. Barrie's experiences in the gardens, and Princess Diana lived in Kensington Palace nearby. Follow line, the river flows Listen as 